To all the QNT holders, you guys must be warned, you literally cannot afford to miss this important information. I'm not joking around. There is a huge stigma around quant and its price action that based on historic information will leave a lot of you high and dry, hoping for too much or hoping or guessing for too little. What am I talking about here? Well, this is gonna make so much sense today. Really hope you take the time to listen to this. I'm gonna lay this out on the table for you and explain what I'm talking about, right? So it's basically over and underestimating token demand. I know it seems so basic, but Quant has a prolific uh, sort of user base for this because Quant's one of those rare projects that we're talking about three and four digits here. We're not talking about dollars or cents. We're talking about multiples and people, especially YouTubers, tend to tell others and believe themselves that Quant can't extend up to four you know, digits or even five digits. Right, so I want to talk to you about a price prediction today and kind of like some more metrics and data that backs up where I think the quant token will go because ultimately, as you can see behind me, you know, I have people in my comments on pretty much all my videos saying with some of the best and most promising projects, quant especially, that it won't see the same all time high it did back in 2023 and 2025. If not, some of you guys even are saying lower. It's just mind blowing. So what happens then? Well, you guys obviously believe that there's not gonna be as much demand and therefore when the price goes up, you're gonna be left potentially missing out on 10, 20, 30 X. This is life changing wealth. I don't want you guys losing out on this sort of stuff, right? On the other side, we definitely have people and a lot of YouTubers, okay, that say there's gonna be way more price action than there really is going to be, okay? So there's two ends of the spectrum. You really don't wanna be in either of these. I used to be in the green section where I used to get my emotions were too involved, right? And I used to believe the project was gonna go up so much. And what actually happens is you end up a lot worse, right? So you wanna be at this blue line. This is kind of like a, an accurate prediction or, or a sensible prediction. But essentially, if you go up too high, if you're overestimating demand, right? If you're too optimistic, well, you can lose even more than, than being pessimistic, right? In the red, because what happens there is your lizard brain kicks in and when the price goes up and you're expecting more and then it starts tanking, your mind goes, oh my God, I'm missing out, I'm missing out, I'm missing out. And then you end up buying in worse than these guys did, right? Worse than the previous all-time high. And then you're left holding your bags or, or whatever it might be, okay? Also, you know, pessimistic people, they're just as well worse off because you're guessing it's gonna end up down here or down here. You sell most of your tokens and you could have 10, 20, 30 X more, right? So again, this is very bad for Quant because Quant has this four or five digit expectation that throws people off. So I wanna be here to dispel all the myths and hopefully give you guys some clarity, right? So when do we know when to sell, Kyron? This is a bit confusing, so let me break some of the real facts down with you, okay? So the minimum I expect Quant to go to in terms of its demand, aka its market cap, is a 3X from its previous all-time high. Now, mind you, the previous all-time high market cap was only four and a half billion dollars. For a Quant, for a, for a network as important as this, that's very, very small, okay? So that's about a $13.5 billion market cap in 2025 at the minimum, guys. Key, and remember this, minimum, okay? That's about $1,100 token. However, we have to count for inflation. You know you know me, guys, I like to prepare for the worst. I don't think all the coins are gonna be in circulation by then. Right now, to put something in perspective, it's about 12 million tokens. But again, prepare for the worst. Then obviously, it's a little bit better, okay? So $900, that's what it comes to when you get the demand and also the supply, right? So 900 bucks. And on the max side of things, this is where it's very, very key because we're gonna look at ladder selling later in the video, right? Now, the max side, I'm guessing a six to 20X from its previous all-time high. Now, let's look at the six X first. If we look at a six X from the previous all-time high, the market cap goes to about $27 billion. Now, we're gonna circle back to this in a second because one of the metrics we'll look at actually supports this number. Okay, now this would give the token price accumulating for all the tokens in circulation about 1800 bucks. On the flip, 20X from the previous all time high, not from this price, the previous all time high, it'll be about a $90 billion market cap, $6,000 quant token. Okay, so again, these are the max side of things. I believe it'll go more than a 6X. Now, there's going to be a strategy involved here. I definitely think a 20X, aka $90 billion, is going to stretch it. And some of you guys might be thinking to yourselves, this ain't possible, Kyron. You're joking. You're kidding. Well, this supports what I'm saying. This is the previous all time high ish 
market caps, okay, for the top projects. You know, we saw Ethereum at $500 billion, over half a trillion dollars. We saw Cardano at $67 billion, right? Now, it went up to about $90 billion, so this wasn't at its all-time high. But we look at Solana, $75 billion. Dogecoin, right? Dogecoin was at this price back then. So you gotta understand guys, like a project like Quant has lots of room to grow. And again, I'm gonna to explain to you why in just a second. So if you're calling me BS, if you think I'm crazy, right? If you think I'm going against my channel name, think again, right? Here's some bullish factors that make me really excited. Now I go into these in more detail in my other Quant video. I'll link that at the end of this video in the exit screen. But ultimately, let's just touch on them very quickly, right? Institutional demand. We have infinite application for this network. This ain't a Web3 business. This is a Web2 focused business. Forget crypto. This is a real life centralized business right now looking at solving real issues in the actual real world, right? They connect legacy networks, private networks, enterprise networks. They connect API services, Facebook, uh, Twitter, everything that is online. Basically, they can connect with an API, right? Which is very secure. Um, endpoints. They're also a white label service, meaning that the business model for Quant uses, a company can actually, like Facebook, for example, can actually use the Quant infrastructure and not have to tell anyone about it. Matter of fact, they can go one step further and say that that's their infrastructure, okay? And that's the white label service that Quant is. They still obviously have to purchase Quant, right? They still have to um, come down here and buy the license for it, but still, they don't have to actually go ahead and say anything, okay? So, that's not a bullish or bearish feature. It just means that we really can't see the true uh, you know, atmosphere right now. Also, supply shock. This is something that people aren't talking about, right? There is a finite supply of tokens, only 14,800,000 or so, right? Max, inf you know, finite, almost that infinite, right? So it's also very, very low supply. There's going to be a supply shock in future, which is pretty much where demand continues to pick up. There is no more supply, and then the price goes just parabolic, right? Next, Quant has really great network absorption or token use cases, for an example. Why is this important? Well, obviously, when you start involving businesses and enterprise use cases, you need to have good token absorption. The token has to be used throughout the network and effectively as well, because this will absorb all the transactions being used by the enterprise networks. Okay, and this is how the token price goes up for these sort of, you know, enterprise slash national uh, focused projects. Okay, so the token is used in every possible corner, right? Transfers, validation, again, license fees, consumption fees, gateway nodes, right? That's the nodes on the network connecting the different, um, connecting the different uh, networks together, essentially. And then you have, of course, add-on services with their maps. So maps are multi-chain applications. They're basically businesses that can build on top of the Overledger or Quant network. Okay, they build on top of it. And if they have access to, they can connect to any network that they are allowed to, or permissions to, okay? Which is very, very important because this creates another type of online defensibility, a moat, a protection around the network because any business that builds on top of Quant is going to solely rely on Quant simply because if Quant ever closed down, right, it's called embedding, if Quant ever was pulled out of the network and closed down, these businesses are gonna have a hard time trying to find a network that has open communications in such a seamless manner as Quant with those networks, they might have, you know, a private network on Ethereum and they might be connected to, I don't know, let's just say Kadena, for example, right? Quant can actually create that, you know, infrastructure, but other networks can't. So again, it's like a bit, a bit like Chainlink, right? They rely on Quant, which is a business model in of itself. Very, very important, okay? Next is their partners, right? We've got Oracle, Lackchain, UST, just to name three. You know, Oracle, just to, just for one example, has like 430,000 plus uh, clients, okay? They're an Oracle service. Lackchain connect, is connecting um, sort of banks and institutions down in Latin America through the blockchain tech. And UST is focused on banks and uh, CBDC and stuff like that. So big named partners, guys. This is real deal stuff. So this is why I'm so bullish on the price action for Quant. Now, one thing I wanted to touch on, right, was also the market dominance. So assuming the global market cap goes to $10 trillion. Now, the global consensus right now is about 5 to $10 trillion. I'm going to be a bit more optimistic and say $10 trillion, But I definitely think it's possible. That's a 3x from the previous global uh, market cap all-time high, right? But we're going to have more big you know, bigger fish in the pond, essentially, okay? So, Quant's previous market dominance at its all-time high, right, was about 0.26%, meaning out of the global market cap back here of $3 trillion, Quant's market cap had 
0.26% of that market share, okay? So if we, again, pretty simply assume it goes to 10 trillion, we just obviously multiply that by 20.26%, uh, and we get a market cap of, remember this, 26 slash 27 billion dollars which was the minimum maximum if that makes sense side of my prediction okay now i expected to probably 2x from this so go to about you know 52 or 0.52 percent rather if not more because here's the proof right this is actually the market dominance uh chart from lunar crush right now the pink is the market dominance the sort of turquoise color is price and this was the previous all-time high okay but recently in about the 17th of october last year it actually jumped up 27 percent from back here matter of fact you can look at how the price and market dominance have split the market dominance has swelled from the price which is what you only find with important projects and we can see back here it did the same thing okay you find projects that have a lot of social dominance a lot of impact on retail investors especially will end up doing this so i definitely think it'll swell from even this number here moving into the next bull market right and you can see the uh, proof up there okay so this is another factor so that's why i'm so bullish and i, I honestly think that the market cap got could go like realistically above 50 billion dollars but here's my strategy here's here's how i'm going to tell you guys to cut the noise and be as safe as possible right this is the strategy I am going to take my initial investment out at the minimum of $900 and ladder sell to $1,800 to $6,000. Remember this $900 number? This was at 3X from its previous all-time high, that safe assumption, okay? Now, these two numbers, depending on sort of partnerships, how the market's going in a general manner, um, we might get to the $1,800 level and there might be so much more momentum to go, I will then begin to slow my uh, you know, ladder selling out to get around to about the 6K number. Of course, again, it all depends on what's happening, but still, you've taken out, if you invested $10,000 at a $100 quant token price, you've taken it all out here. The rest is just for fun. That way you've got full clarity, you've got no risk, it's just all profits from there, okay? It's proven to be the safest and most effective method. So before we even go buying, this is something that people always forget. It's so simple but it is so effective. You need to determine your return on investment. Okay, what are you expecting to get from this quant investment? Very worst case and very best case. Literally, stand in front of the mirror and ask yourself this question. Is it a 10X? Is it a 30X? Is it an 80X? You've got to plan your DCA around this, right? You're an investor investing in quant. So what's the go, bro? What do you, how much money do you want to actually make from this? And this is what I'm talking about. And I'll explain to you. So if we look at, okay, we're gonna only buy at hundred dollars, right? And all lower for quant. That's where we begin dollar cost averaging, okay? If the price goes to this $900, we're gonna 8X. That's our initial investment out. Now, of course, we're only taking out our initial investment. So if you put in 10 grand, you take your 10 grand back out again. You've made no money. But the higher it goes, the less tokens you take out from how many tokens you actually own, if that makes sense, right? So then of course, I will begin to ladder sell between here and here. Now, depending on how bullish quant is or how the global market cap or the global you know macro events are that could push way up to here it's like a 58x right there's a 59x from down here so you can see why it's important and the difference that really is showing okay and people get confused with this because they're like quant you know we're talking about no there's no way it can go above two thousand dollars or it's going to go to twenty thousand dollars this is being realistic this is this is we're, we're putting numbers on these prices okay now what happens when you're someone who's not happy with that initial 8x you want more or the max 58x what if you're like i'm investing in quant for an 80x minimum well this is what you have to do the 100 bucks we started dollar cost averaging let's just bring it down by 10 dollars down to 90 dollars we begin dollar cost averaging right well we gain a minimum of an extra 1x here from the minimum and as we go up, it gets exponential, right? So that minimum down here, the 6X from the previous all-time high, we get an extra 2X. So it's now a 19X rather than a 17X. And then at the very top, look at this, 65X rather than 58X, that's a 6X increase or a 59X rather. So what does that mean? Well, quite obviously, you know, if you invested 1,000 bucks down here and you sold, let's just say perfectly at the top, that $1,000 or that $10,000 is six or $60,000 respectively. A 6X, we're like, our brains are kind of messed up in crypto because we think a 6X is bad. Guys, a 6X difference from dropping down $10, okay? So you need to ask yourself, what is the minimum you're willing to expect from quant? And what is the very, very maximum, like, you ideal situation? And then you can kind of plot how, when you, you know, begin dollar cost averaging based on the realistic figures. 
If quant isn't a good investment for you, if you want more, simple. Don't buy quant, okay? Unless you want to buy it for the long term. Now, this is something I just wanted to give you guys just uh, you know, a bit of a cheat sheet. I'm going to buy under 100 bucks. This is just myself. I'm happy with that sort of 9x minimum and, of course, pushing to that 59, 58x at the very tip. Again, I think it can definitely go more in an ideal world. Dollar cost averaging, though, is key. And I'm going to sell at 900 bucks or at least take my initial investment out and then ladder sell the rest. Again, don't fall for FUD, guys. If you're a quant investor and you hold a token, it's not going to $20,000. It's not going to go to $1,000. I mean, not financial advice. Hopefully, this video has provided you some clarity on the matter. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.